Sweet Christmas. What's up YouTube, Dealing here today, here doing a review on Luke Cage Season 1, giving you guys my positives and negatives and my overall thoughts. Starting off with the positives, my culture embodies Luke Cage. I really enjoy his performance as Luke Cage, he definitely brings a lot of charisma, you know, he's got the build, he's everything I imagined Luke Cage would be. The way he plays Luke Cage is that he has a tough exterior, but he does care for others that are around him, such as Miss Knight, Claire, Pops, and just the way he carries himself as a hero, I think is something that could be relatable in everyday life. And the season provides great character development for each individual character, not just Luke Cage, but also for Misty Knight, Claire, Cottonmouth, Diamondback, Shades, Reva even. You know, we get to see the darkness within each character, and we get to see people's weaknesses, and which gives us ways to connect with certain characters on a different scale. And my favorite villain throughout this series is Cottonmouth. You know, every time he's on screen, he just, you're just pulled in. He has such a presence that you just want to know more about this guy. You want to see him just beat up more people. He's so ruthless. You always wonder what he's going to do next. I really enjoy his backstory as well and just the way he laughs and everything. It's fantastic. I think he was the best villain on Luke Cage. And the action throughout Luke Cage is actually pretty good. It's not as flashy as Daredevil, but it still works, you know. It's still good, you know, because Luke Cage is a brawler. You're not going to see him doing all these flips and crazy kicks and whatnot because he's superhuman. He, Luke Cage doesn't have to rely on these tentacle fighting techniques to get the advantage in a fight. He has super strength, his skin is pretty much impenetrable, so why does he have to learn any mixed martial arts at all? There's some brutal violent sequences, so Cottonmouth beating up on some dude, or when Luke Cage is fighting against Diamondback. The action's not the best in the world, but I still found it quite entertaining. And throughout Luke Cage, I like how it exploits controversial themes with race, police brutality, and the struggles of urban areas such as Harlem. So it's really cool. They're not pulling any punches here. They're showing what, what might go down in these situations when you're dealing with the streets of Harlem. Because Harlem, you know, it's a city that has its own history. So I really like seeing this world unfold throughout Luke Cage's perspective. The series also has a nice soundtrack. It's synced with some really good music that's flowed well into action sequences. There's also some nice nods to the comics, for example, where Luke Cage actually wears his original costume after escaping Seagate Prison. Now moving on to the negative, some of the supporting cast is kind of overacting. Like It can be a bit annoying, like Shade, TV, he does a bit of overacting here and there. Same with Diamondback and the little minor character Zip. The overacting can be a bit annoying at times and just take you out of the show for a bit. But the main cast, they deliver their performances quite well. Also, I didn't like the shift in conflict throughout the season. At first, it's about, you know, getting rid of Cottonmouth's control of Harlem. Then it switches to more personal story between Luke Cage and Diamondback. Why'd they do that? You know I mean? But you'll understand once you actually watch the show. It kind of made the, the show like, reset itself a bit to, to work itself up to something else entirely. Which, I mean, it's fine. But, you know, I, I kind of wish it just stayed on that path of taking down Cottonmouth. And last but not least is Diamondback's power suit, his costume at the finale of the show. It just it just doesn't work. You know, I know they were trying to replicate what he looked like in the comics, but sometimes the original costume just can't translate well in live action. You know what I mean? It was it looked ridiculous because I mean his mouth was visible, so why couldn't Luke Cage just like use his thumbs and just penetrate his jaw and then it, the fight would be over? But I guess that would just been too logical, right? I really enjoyed this show. The way I rank the Netflix shows is Daredevil Season 2, Daredevil Season 1, Luke Cage, and then Jessica Jones. But I definitely recommend watching Luke Cage. I'm really interested to see how Luke Cage is going to interact with the rest of the Defenders. We know how he interacts with Jessica Jones, but how's he going to react to Daredevil, Iron Fist? So this really gets me hyped for the Defenders. And I think I'm going to have to give Luke Cage an 8 out of 10. <laughs> So let me guys in the comments down below. What were your thoughts on Luke Cage Season 1? Like, subscribe, more content than me on Luke Cage, other series in general. I'm Dimalex. I'll see you in the future.